morning welcome to the madcap hat studio it's a beautiful day here in paradise and we're going to make another headband this one has a definite feminist vibe to it you know what i mean i call it the rosy headband and i'm going to make it in inches and in centimeters and i'm going to make it a nice beautiful heart pattern because hey what the world needs now is love and definitely more feminism, right girls? So let's get started. Let's make a rosy headband. Come on inside. I fully intended to use this heart fabric for this lesson today. And then this morning I thought, got to thinking that maybe a tribute to a World War II feminist by naming the, the headband the rosy band maybe should celebrate our sisters that are fighting right now in the Ukraine. And that means that let's make this one out of sunflower fabric. It has just as much love behind it. So for our pattern, I use um, stretchy fabric. So this is from Spoonflower. It's called Modern Jersey Knit. It's lovely fabric. And my pattern piece is based on my head size, which is average for a woman, 22 and a half inches in circumference or 57 centimeters. So if you have a chance and you have a, a soft measuring tape, by all means, measure your own head size and determine what your circumference is and multiply that by 90%. And that's where you'll get your own length. But for the sake of this lesson, we'll use the average um, female head size. And that means that you should cut out a piece of fabric that's 20.25 inches. So 20 and a quarter or 51 and a half centimeters along the stretchy part. And then nine inches or 23 and a half centimeters deep. Let's leave that up for a second so that you can write that down. And the second part of our headband is the part that makes the knot. So again, we're gonna cut with the long end along the stretch and that's 13 inches or 33 centimeters. And then for a depth of three and a half inches or nine centimeters this way. All right, we're ready to get sewing. I'm going to be adding a version of this headband for kids in a group that I'm working on right now of a few of our favorite headbands in children's sizes. So if that interests you, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that uh, video gets uploaded in the next few days. All right, let's get started. I'm going to sew the uh, casing for the tie first and I'm going to start by pinning the right sides together. So I've pinned it and I've put a pin right in the middle so I know that when I come to that pin I'm going to stop on either side of the pin to make a little opening for me to turn this right side out. Now I'm going to use a zigzag stitch to sew this long edge together, leaving that opening in the middle where that pin is. And making sure I'm catching both layers. All right, so I have casing that looks like this and I'm just going to open it up so that that seam is in the middle and actually if you pin it a little bit down away from the edge you're going to trim off on an angle up here so um, I'm just going to move this pin so the next step is to cut the ends on a bit of an angle. And take that off. Okay, so now we have a piece that looks like this. And we're just gonna close off each end and then we'll turn it right side out. And I'm just using my straight stitch for this 
these ends. All right, we've turned it right side out. You can see the seam is in the middle and that's going to be next to the headband once we make our headband. So we're not going to worry about this little opening here because that's going to get closed when we sew it onto the headband. So I'm sewing together the shorter um, ends of the headband, the part that goes around your head. I'm sewing right sides together and I'm using a straight stitch rather than the zigzag. And my seam width is about 3 8 of an inch. And you can see I'm using my handy favorite tool, the magnetic seam measure. Now I've removed my seam measure because I'm going to sew the seam flat. But I'm catching the seam at the back and sewing it flat. Turning and going down the other side and doing the same thing. Now I always sew my headbands together with this method. So what I've done is I've laid the headband on top of the, the back seam and the back seam, the right side is facing up towards me and I'm just gonna sandwich the headband in between the back seam pieces so that I have right sides together at the top and the bottom of the back seam and I'm just gonna pin and I'm gonna sew in between the pins which are gonna be where my fingers are and just gently pull this out as I go around, only sewing this raw long edge together all the way around from pin to pin. There's my pins and I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch to sew this seam together. I put my magnet back to help me with keeping this seam nice and neat. I'll take out this pin. And you can see, I'm just gonna pull the part that's been sandwiched inside out as I go along. And here's the other pin. Trim those ends. And backpack. All right, now I have a headband inside of a headband. It looks almost like one of those mufflers that you could put your hand through in the winter. Hello. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach into this little opening that I just made and I'm going to pull out the rest of the headband and I'm going to turn it right side out, voila, like that. I love sunflowers, I always have and I always will, but they seem extra special this year, they really do. All right, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm gonna work this back seam up into the middle. So it's basically centered. And when you're wearing it, if it turns up that it creates a little bit of a bump or a ridge, it'll just add some interest to the headband because it's a wide band. So you're probably gonna scrunch it up a little bit. So it'll be just another little, another little scrunch point. So what I've done is I've centered that opening and I've tucked the seam so that if I wanted to, I could hand sew it flat, but we don't need to because we're going to sandwich this opening with the opening from this band and we're going to sew the two pieces together. So basically, we want to put this over that and we're sort of just eyeballing to see. You could measure if you were really fussy about it, but there's no need to. Um, we're going to be tying a knot. I'm going to put a pin at the midway point on this side of the back of the inside seam. And I'm going to put a pin at the midway point on this side. 
of that inside seam in the middle. So a little square of sewing to put these two pieces together and to close up those two holes that we use to turn both pieces right side out. When I say a small square, I think it's easier to see it on this hearts band, but you can see the little square there. So just a small square. All right, now we have our headband sewn together, wrong sides together on the back of the band. I'm going to turn it right side over. And this is where you decide how much to gather. And you just tie this into a knot. And the more you pull it, the longer the ends. And if you want really long ends, you can definitely cut that second piece uh, bigger, this piece here. But I find this is a good length for the knot because you don't want those ends hanging down in your eyes. All right, look at that. Now I get to try them on. Very cute, right? I love it. Now it's the other one. Oh gosh, this one's super cute too. There you have it folks, another successful headband project. And I hope you get the chance to make lots of them for your family and for your friends and that you enjoy this project as much as I did teaching it to you. So please like this video and please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so that you get notified when we upload the next video. I've had a 36 year career in millinery so I have lots to share and I think it'll be worth your while. All right, thanks again and we'll see you soon. Bye.